most respected and beloved Professor Nirmal Chaudhary, <coughs> whom I have known for decades. I am privileged to have worked with him in several committees, meetings. The latest was uh, the selection of Vice Chancellor of Cork University. So like that, Professor Mehdi, a colleague of mine, we worked together while I was in Nemo, the former Vice Chancellor of Guwahati University. Mr. Kazi, all India Nehmo. So nice to see you. We see your name, of course, on the screen. And now I see you physically. <coughs> Professor Sharma, the Vice Chancellor of USTM at the moment. Most respected uh, and esteemed colleagues of this uh, faculty members of this university, non-teaching staff, some students if you are present. It has been a pleasant experience for today. It's not that this is my first visit. It could be third or fourth. I find some definite progress, not only in terms of uh, the infrastructure, which is a must, number of students, quality of students, the comments about the university's functioning from public. I had a colleague here, Professor Amarjiti Choudhury, who was very close to me when I was in Tejpur. He was my PBC from him and many other sources. And that is what we want to hear. I have a very special corner for this university and of course universities like this, which are so-called private universities. And my selfish interest is also very clear, is that after all, these universities are also immensely contributing in the progression of human resource, giving education to our kids who might not have been able to get it uh, had they not gotten these opportunities here. Uh, they might have to go somewhere else, getting information, not information, discipline. So many things are there, as you all know. So therefore, I, I care for pri private universities, including USTM. And all the more, your chancellor, he's a very beloved person. You know, he's one, he keeps in touch with us uh, on phone, on email, generally on phone. And uh, the way he kind of uh, treats you, 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 are, you are compelled, you are bound to feel. Friends, one thing with my humble experience I have learned in life. Howsoever smart you may be, experience has its own meaning and place. I am not saying which is superior, which is inferior. Let us not go into that controversy. But experience cannot be more. And in the matter of education, all the more. So what USTM has done today, in presence of Professor Choudhury, uh, Dr. Choudhury, we have to say that, that it's a great thing, because that's how I began, that each one of us will die one day. But whatever little we do is something that for which people may be remembering if we have contributed something to the society. So I must very, very specially thank Hawk Sahab for his uh, novel thinking. Many times what happens, people do after the demise of some individual, dead people or whatever. But he has done when he is alive. So Professor uh, Dr. Nimal Chaudhary will have a very special basin, I can tell you, onto this university, which even otherwise deserve that this is all in all. It is not that he is angry for a hall to be named or something like that. But it's a different feeling, I must tell you, which uh, will be very difficult to explain. He himself never be able to explain. We understand that we are at the crossroad, but we have to cross the road. Otherwise, we are lost. The whole education system needs a thorough review, not criticizing each other, but to meet the requirement of the day. A case in point, Please do not attach any political uh, touch in whatever I am going to say. A few days ago, there was advantage of some summit of industrialists, 
signing of MOU. Um, this mean a lot to each one of us, particularly to the youth of the state and the region. Do I, I do think I do whatever I have to do in the system where I have been working for the success may take time. Now the ball lies in our court that how to fructify, how to materialize all those MOUs, all those dreams of the organizers, especially the lead by the chief minister and his team. Uh, if that is not done, then this exercise is futile. Broad University, Cotton University, Debegal University, Tejpur University. What can we do? Well, so that we do not lose this chance and charm, we have to equip our students with skill. Please hear me what I am saying. It is not simply I have been given task for chemical science and chemical technology, so I have completed my syllabus and be done. Ghana does this. We have to have mechanism to inculcate skills so that our kids tomorrow do not show a face of despair. And we should be able to anticipate and prepare our students about it. Otherwise, goal is lost. Not only for this advantage, this is something fresh in the mind of all of us. That's why I uh, referred, even otherwise it is required. As all of you know, India is a country of young people. Average age of the country in terms of demographic uh, position is something like 35 years. And by 2050, or maybe slightly before that, it is going to be 25 years. The question is, so what? Well, this what speaks about the volume of young people that we have. So what? Well, we have to skill them, either to be absorbed in the country, within the country, or abroad. Uh, the whole world, including the advanced countries, so forth, and the desert, like United States, United Kingdom, Canada, Australia, uh, everybody is looking uh, to India, what is happening, how things are growing, what kind of human resources they are uh, developing, uh, because they employ our people, they take our people. There is a serious uh, note on this. If you look at the human resource export of last three years, let us say, you will find that scenario is likely unfortunate. India was leading but China has overtaken. I am not against China or any other country, but what I am saying, I am worried about our own people, that we have lost it. And I, I cannot give a blind eye. I am serious to do this introspection and also to uh, see what should be done so that not only that we recover, but also we can do better. You are teaching load and all that. Uh, the last point, since it is a teaching and research institution. A university, yesterday also I was uh, in a university where uh, Dr. Maggie is also associated, and I said the same thing in very clear terms. Without research, university is no university. Don't give us the excuse because we are all teachers uh, that we have so much of teaching load, no time for this, I don't accept. With a folded hand, I would like to request whatever is possible, howsoever good, howsoever moderate, we must start doing research. And I should also request the Chancellor and the Vice Chancellor and his team, the ERD Foundation, to give support and after that they will be uh, on their own. I am so very grateful to be able to present this morning with you all, particularly for something that is going to last long, particularly something that is in the name of Dr. Nirmal Choudhury, whom I have a great respect. You know, yesterday, Dr. Choudhury, you may not remember, I quote you in a meeting. It was the selection committee. Long ago, I was called, I was then at Nehru, and he was the vice chancellor of uh, Guwahati University. There was a selection of uh, then lecturer. So one thing he told, that look, in the first entry 
we cannot compromise on that track record. And after that, tens of years have passed by, and I find more and more relevance of this comment. Thank you very much. And that is what I also learned from him, which I have not forgot to in my senses. Thank you, friends. All the best to USPM, and all the best to all of you, particularly this year.